hey everyone welcome back to this series so in this part we are going to set up our block detail screen so for that jump into your data layer module here we have network package and within this network we have api service now i am going to trigger a api request so for that we have get request post slash within parenthesis we have id suspend function get block details and within our block details first we are going to pass header so this header would be call app hyphen id and it would be same just like our previous one app id and the second our path so path would be id which we have passed and it will return us response of a single block dto all right so now it's time to create repository for our domain layer and for our data layer so first i'm going to create within our domain so within this right click new cotton class slash file here we have get block details repo this is an interface so suspend function get block details and within this we need to pass our id and it will return us a block now jump into your data layer repository and here i am going to write an implementation for our get block detail repo so get block detail repo implementation so this is an class and within this class we are going to implement the member of our domain layer get block detail repo so get block detail repo and we are going to use safe api request method so for that we are going to append this safe api request now implement the member so member would be get block details and it will return us a block so well response i am going to use safe api request and within this we need our api service in order to call the get block detail so for that i am using constructor injection here so inject constructor private well api service import this inject and use our api service to get our block details so here we have get block detail we are going to pass our id and that's it now i'm going to return this response it will give me an error because the return type is block dto and we require block so for that i am creating a block variable and within this block variable i am going to initialize all of its member with our response so response dot id if it is null then empty just like this all right so i create a new block by using our response and now i pass this block and here you can see the error would be gone so now within our data layer dependency injection module i am going to return this implementation so provide fun provide a uh, get block detail repo and it will give me an get block details repository now return our implementation get block details repository implementation and here we need to pass api service so for that in our function we pass api service and provide this api service to our get block detail repository implementation so it will return us get block detail repository now i am going to create a use case for our get block details right click new go to kotlin class slash file and here we have get block details use case this is an class and within this class we require our repository so private well 
get blog detail repository and this thing is provided by our data layer dependency injection module okay and within this we have operator function invoke and we are going to pass blog id it is going to return me a flow so make sure this flow is coming from our coroutines flow of resource which contain a single block open a flow and initially we are going to emit a loading state and within this loading we pass message empty empty string and after that within our try catch we are going to emit the events so emit dot resource dot error and within this error we pass a message dot to string and within this we have well response which is coming from our get block details repository dot get block details pass id and now i am emitting a success event so resource dot success and pass our data which is response and here you can see we created our use case now i am going to create a view model for our block detail screen so for that go to your presentation layer and within this presentation layer within our screen we have detail package so right click new cotton class slash file and i am going to call this detail view model this is an class and this class is going to be extend view model annotate with hilt view model we perform a constructor injection here so inject constructor import this inject within this constructor we first pass our use case so get block detail use case over here and the second would be our save state handle reformat it and within this we have init block and we are going to use this init block in a moment but for now just creating a function naming get block details it will accept an id and we are going to make a state holder for our detail screen so for that first i am going to create that state holder so right click new go to kotlin slash class sorry kotlin class slash file and here we have block details state holder this is an f data class so make it data and within this class we have basically three events so first is loading which is a type of boolean and initially it is false second one is our data actual data so this time we have a block and initially initialize with null and third one is our error event so error type of string and initialize this with empty string now import this block jump into your view model and here i am going to create while state holder so call details and this is a mutable state of block details state holder okay now within this function we are going to use get block detail use case call this pass our id and on each emission we check that if our event is loading duplicate two times so second event would be success and the third event would be error so now what we want to do if event is loading on that case we simply set to our details a value block detail state holder is loading is true all right 
when it's come to success event we are going to set details dot value block detail screen state holder and we pass our data by using our it dot data all right now the third one is error so if any error is occur we are going to set detail value block detail state holder error would be it dot message dot to string all right and now we are going to launch this within our view model scope so we need id in order to get the block details so this id is going to be passed from our home screen to detail screen so for that we are going to make some changes in our navigation item here we have detail screen route name would be details and now i am going to append a pair of parentheses and a block id so this block id is representing the argument name all right now i am jumping in my home screen and i am going to create a trailing lambda in our post item so i am going to create a tra trailing lambda which accept a string and return unit all right and by using this column modifier i am attaching a clickable event and invoke our function by passing it dot id so it dot id is representing this blog id now our post item is having a trailing lambda and with a pair of parentheses you can accept or you can call this lambda expression now within this i am going to navigate by using our nav controller dot navigate and pass the route name so route name would be details slash the second one is our argument so we need to pass our it which is id in our case so we successfully pass this id to our detail screen now go to your detail view model and here i am using save state handle get live data which is a type of string pass your id so in my case id is block id and check if the value is not null on that occasion we are going to call our get block details by passing the id so by using this approach you get the block detail information so now i am going to write my detail screen jetpack compose ui so right click to the detail package create a kotlin class as file naming detail screen okay so this is an file and within this file we are going to create a composable naming detail screen and within this detail screen we first require our view model so view model would be detail view model and this view model is going to be initialized by our hilt view model and on the top we have a resource which is coming from our details view model details dot value so depending on this resource if it is loading case on that occasion i am going to create a box modifier fill max size and after that within this box i am going to create a circular progress indicator having modifier alignment to the center all right so this is a case of loading if resource error is not blank on that occasion i am going to create a box having modifier fill max size and within this box i am going to create a text import this text and the text would be it dot resource dot error dot to string and use modifier align to make it on the center all right so these two cases is successfully handled now we are going to check the actually data part so resource dot data if it is not null 
then on that occasion i am going to call our post item and we pass our blog and in the trailing lambda we simply pass pair of parentheses okay now just below to it i am going to create a text and that text is basically give us the likes count okay and append with likes make sure this is in string all right and i am using modifier to provide some padding to it so 12 dot dp all right now i am going to create some tag item for our tags so for that i am going to create a new composable that composable is naming tag item and it will simply accept a string okay now within our tag item i am going to create a card having modifier fill max sorry this case i using wrap content width and wrap content height now within this card i am going to create a text so this text is actually it and then after we have style so i am going to style this text pass color to black and that's it and within this text i am using modifier and provide some padding so the padding would be like 12 dp and within this card i am going to provide shape so shape would be rounded corner shape and size is 40 dot dp sorry this is a radius and after that we have border so use border border stroke first we are going to pass width of that border so it would be 0.5 dp and the second would be color so color is equals to color dot gray and this card having padding of 8 dp so that's it for our tag item and within our resource data i am going to use this composable tag item and pass it dot actually within our for loop so it dot tags because tags are a list of string so for that we are going to use for each loop and pass our tag item within this it all right so now jump into our main activity and when our route would be so here i need to write composable so when our route name is navigation item dot detail screen dot route on that occasion we are going to call our detail screen now i am going to run this application and see whether it is working or not application will run successfully here you can see but i have some problem the problem is i did not wrap all this within a column so i am going to wrap this within column modifier and within this i am going to pass all these stuffs now i am going to run this application again and see the error would be gone or not the design error actually so application will run successfully and when i click any of this post item we are going to details okay so we have likes we have tags all this so that's it for our, for this video and this is all from our series